Welcome back to Dr. Sujita's interactive class. Today we will see one of the online practical demonstration for determination of melting point. In this video we are going to see in detail what is melting point, importance of this particular determination, how to determine melting point, the determination steps for organic compound. Now there might be a question in your mind why to determine melting point. It is a physical property of a given compound when we determine melting point or boiling point of a compound and it gives an ins useful information like every compound has a specific melting point. So if we are determining melting point we can determine purity of the compound. Now what is the melting point? Melting point is the temperature at which solid changes into liquid state or we can say at atmospheric pressure solid and liquid are in equilibrium with each other. It may vary with the pressure. Now to determine melting point we need to feel the given substance whose determination we are interested in carrying out to feel in a capillary tube. These are the borosilicate capillary tubes which are uh, being supplied in this packed things. This is the bottom end sealed end which I have shown. You have to check out the sealed end and from open end you need to feel the substance inside the capillary. While feeling the substance inside the capillary you need to take precaution that the substance must be dry. If it is wet then the temperature may require more than the expected and it may lead into impure compound uh, conclusion. You have to take care that when you are feeling the substance the amount of the substance must not be much more uh, uh, inside the capillary which may also carry a large temperature to melt down that particular substance. Now how to feel the substance inside the capillary and how much of the substance is exactly required during the determination has been shown in the video. Regarding feeling of the solid substance inside the capillary just press over the substance and do some circular movement. You can see that the substance has been gone inside the capillary. Now our aim is to transfer this substance from upper end to lower end. You can do this task by rubbing the capillary over a rough surface. You can see visually that the substance is moving down. You can tap the substance downstairs over a tabletop and attach this capillary to the thermometer where the mercury and your substance will have same level to show the melting point of substance as exactly the temperature of mercury. This is the Thills tube which I have shown over here. The name of this particular tube has been given after the German chemist Jonathan Thills where this triangular part of the uh, Thills tube is specially designed when we are heating this particular tube which contains oil, mostly the paraffin oil which has very high boiling point. Inside it you are going to put the thermometer along with your substance and you are going to apply the temperature through this triangular part. Now when you apply the temperature slowly through this part uh, towards your substance, the formation of this convection current in the oil bath uh, gives fairly uniform temperature to the oil bath to, so that we can determine the exact melting point temperature of the given substance. And once the capillary is ready with the filled substance, you need to attach the capillary to the thermometer and then you have to insert this in an oil bath inside the thills tube and apply the temperature. While determining this particular temperature, you have to look at the uh, uh, capillary where entire sample is being melted or converted into transparent liquid. Suchita's interactive class. Today we are going to see how to take melting point of a given solid substance. Now we first try to understand what is the melting point. Melting point is the temperature at which solid substance get converted into liquid and it is in equilibrium with this particular state. Now 
we are going to see what are the assembly we are going to utilize for this today's extra line. He will going to show you the Thills tube. This is the Thills tube which is accompanied with the oil which is paraffin oil having very high boiling point. Now along with this we are going to utilize thermometer where we can able to locate the exact temperature of melting point. Show the thermometer. Check out the temperature on it. Before using the assembly, check the temperature. Try to read the temperature on the thermometer so that you can able to note down the exact melting point temperature of a given substance. Now, now we will see how the substance is going to get uh, tied with thermometer. You need to check the position of the substance at the base end with respect to the level of the mercury where we can exactly locate the melting point as temperature of melted substance with respect to temperature of mercury. To check out uniform heating, you have to rotate the burner from the base of the Thills tube to the triangular position so that uniform heating will be given to the substance which is there inside the tube. Look at the substance. Give, give the heating. Check out the temperature when substance melts. melted or converted into transparent liquid. One little tiny melting point you may observe some uh, 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 some observations like this unusual situation where the substance has been <coughs> changes its color it become darker which indicate the decomposition of the substance. You may see that the sub some amount of the substance has been vanished. So that might be concluded as sublimation or sublim sublime substance. So, while determining the melting point, I will request you like your titration pilot reading you usually carry out. Here you find out the melting point twice for the given compound. Once to know the range and second to find out exact melting point. These are the assemblies which are available in the market uh, as an electrical melting point assembly where you need to load the substance along with the thermometer. You just need to uh, put the capillary along with the substance inside this assembly and apply the temperature with the constant rate and you can find out from this hole you can see the melting point whether the substance has been melted or not. This is an automatic melting point assembly. These are the few frequently asked questions which I have been giving here for you. And a special thank to my FYBSC batch of 21-22 student Shrutika Jagdali, Anushka Joshi, Bhavesh Chandragan Patil and Vaishnav Khadi. Thank you.